My goodness. I So I'm doing lots of different things today and I just finished a project. I so yeah, so I'm gonna now go. Um, I got all the bottles filled up and I'm gonna go. Hey everybody, good morning and welcome back to Life in the Piedmont. Um, I'm in my kitchen today and uh, today's video is gonna be about homemade gifts for the holidays. So stick around and let me show you what I'm going to be making and hopefully you can make some of this too to pass along to your family and friends. Inexpensive, on a budget, not a problem. Stay tuned. Okay friends, welcome back. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to be making homemade gifts. I'm going to show you what we got going on. Um, so what I did is I turned my, let me turn it around really quick. I turned my pot on and I dumped about 50 ounces of olive oil and my garlic that I got, I have peeled and I have placed it in there. I'm gonna stir it up. I'm just gonna get that all stirred nice and yummy. You don't want this to really come to a boil, but you wanna just bring it to about, about 180 degrees. And what we're gonna do is we're infusing the garlic into the oil to give it some nice flavor and we'll be wrapping them up in our bottles for gifts to give away. Let me show you what I got over here. I got these cute little bottles at um, Amazon and I will show you, I think I left the lids over here, which I did. So let me get over here, sorry about that. So over, ah, I will show you what I'm gonna do. So here's the bottle I got, and here's the lid. Isn't that the cutest little lid? And there's the dispenser. So with that, and then it came with the cute little funnel to funnel in the oil. And then it came with labels. I don't know if you can see those okay. And then it came with labels and a, a chalkboard marker. And we're gonna put a label right on here and just write, you know, infused garlic olive oil. And we're gonna wrap this up super cute and give it as a gift. Because tomorrow I am meeting a couple of friends and we're gonna be meeting up in Lancaster. We're getting back to do our Christmas lunch as we did prior to COVID. And now that we have passed that, we are gonna to get together again and we are going to meet and have lunch. And we get to meet one of our new friends that we know from social media, so it's gonna be a really great time tomorrow, I can't wait. So that's what I'm working on our gifts right now. So let me just show you something really quick. So aside from my whole garlic, you will see pieces of garlic. See that right here? This is the garlic that we dehydrated together. And I thought, well, since I don't have enough of the whole garlic, let's use some of my garlic. You just want the flavor of the garlic in there. You're not gonna leave the uh, whole cloves of garlic in there. And so that's what we're doing. You just want to infuse the flavor into the olive oil. So what I will do here is I have it on low and I'm going to bring it up to about 180 degrees and we're going to let it cook for, I think about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'm going to remove it off of the uh, burner and we're going to let it cool. And once it cools, we will fill our jars up that I showed you with the olive oil we will wrap those up and get those ready for gifts tomorrow. Um, so I think it's a fun way. And I, what I will do is I will link the bottles down in the description where I got them from Amazon. I don't, I know they were under $20 and we got six in a pack and I thought that's a pretty good deal. So that's what I'm working on now. There's a couple of other things I think I'm gonna get ready to do and um, some more gifts coming your way. Okay, friends, I'm on to my second gift, and this is what you're going to need. A couple of mason jars, some whole vanilla bean, and I got these off of Amazon. They're an organic, and I will link that below, too, in the description. And a cheap bottle of vodka. Yep, vodka. So what we're going to do, and I have already gone ahead and washed my mason jars. So let me, we're going to... Oops. The first thing we're going to do is cut our, sorry friends, 
we're gonna cut our vanilla beans. Let me get another knife because I don't wanna use the one that I used for the garlic. That wouldn't, that wouldn't taste very well. So what we're just gonna do is just take the point of the knife and we're just gonna slit it open right here, just down the center to expose it, right? And I don't think, yeah, it does fit, see? And then you're gonna place it inside your mason jar. So this pack I got, mm, I forget how many beans came in this pack, but I got quite a few, I think about 10 maybe. Price was really reasonable alone I've priced just for one vanilla bean in the store is like uh, 10 to 15 dollars but I got this whole pack pretty reasonably priced um, I didn't pay again I don't think it was more than 20 dollars so so that's what I'm gonna do so I just slid them open down the center to expose let me see if I can show you no, not on that one let me see, maybe that one didn't go through. Let me see. I'll do it again. Yep, all right. So I just I just slid it down, as you can see, just to, I don't know if you can see that or not, to expose. And I'm gonna drop it in my mason jar, and then with a cheap bottle of vodka, you are going to pour the vodka in with the vanilla bean. And you're gonna fill it all the way up to the top. Now, just know you're not gonna be able to use this right away, friends. This is something that's gonna need to sit for three to six months, but it will be homemade vanilla. Um, it's gonna be extremely tasty. You're not gonna need, wanna go out and buy the imitation vanilla in the store. And give this as a gift. You can label it up with a cute label. So once you uh, fill that up, put the lid on, I just give a little shake and you let that sit for three to six months and you'll have some homemade vanilla. You can put a cute label on that. So there's another gift idea for you too. Over here, the uh, it looks like our, our uh, garlic, infused garlic is going quite nicely. It is going along. It's coming up to a nice slow boil. So that should be really tasty in a little bit. So yeah, so I'm gonna keep working away on these gifts and we are going to get a couple more of these done. I'm gonna, I, in these jars, like I said, I'm just putting three beans in. I may have to cut that off because they may not just be too tall for the lid. There we go. All right, I'm gonna place the lids on those secure them down and so now I have three jars of uh, homemade vanilla to give as gifts uh, the cost I had the I had the mason jars already I did go out and buy the vodka I think I paid like $11 for it and then the vanilla beans I had to pay for too um, probably the whole gift because I already had this. I'm going to say it probably cost me about $22. It was under $25, but you can get a lot of gifts. Divide that out by three jars. What is that? Maybe $6, $7 a gift for a person. So it's under $10. And it's homemade by you, and you will love it. And let me show you. I will link all this, but this is the name of the vanilla bean that I did purchase off of Amazon. Uh, Probably, you could probably put more vanilla, but I just, I went ahead and just divided the sticks up. There were 10, so I just divided it up in thirds and put that in here. So each one has three or four maybe vanilla beans in there. And there's another gift. I think it's simple. So if you, there's a baker in your family and somebody who likes it, you know what? Perfect gift. Let it just sit in your pantry. I'm going to put that just something else in my pantry to add. And so if I ever need a gift for a last minute hostess gift, I can take some homemade um, vanilla too. So yeah, there you go, friends. We'll be back and I'll show you some more. My goodness, I am so, 
So I'm doing lots of different things today and I just finished a project I wanted to show you, but I forgot to record it. Anyhow, friends, it's okay. I am making my own soap using a goat's milk base. And let me show you what I did. Here you go. This is the soap mold. This is the uh, goat's milk. It was really easy. It's called mountain pour. <laughs> so I took the base, I melted it. I did not put any type of food coloring in it, even though I do have it, but I did use my essential oils that I have from doTERRA. So I have a different, different flavors here. Uh, I have a peppermint one. I have one that has lots of different, I forget the name of it. Let me see what it is. I just put them all away. I have a coriander one that I did and one with like citrus, like a citrus orangey type thing. So basically what I did is I melted, I added, I stirred, and then I poured into the mold. Everything I got here, friends, came from a company called Glory B. They're out of New York. I'm sorry, that's wrong information. They're out of Oregon. Oregon. My brain's not working. I did use this essential oil that they gave me for one. It's a peppermint one, which I think is a really great one to have because that'll wake you up in the morning fast. And then I have the tubes to make my own lip balm, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's what this is for. It's you melt and then you pour but I don't have anything to pour it in those tubes yet until I finish my other stuff. Let me show you what I did. So over here um, is the oil. I'm trying to let it cool and it's just, it's almost there, not quite, because I, I wanna get those, I wanna get those um, wrapped up. But let me, sh let me take you over here, friends, into my dining room. I'll turn the light on really quick. Slowly down. Okay, so let me show you what I've been doing. Let me go get my tripod. I'm so sorry. So I have one of the bottles here. I dehydrated some oranges. I was going to use cinnamon sticks on here, but the cinnamon sticks are just breaking. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to figure out how else to put this on. So I've heated up my glue gun because I just, I don't, I don't really, I'm not gonna really wrap it per se, except for just around the, the, the bottle. I think what I'll do is probably put it in tissue paper, but I have these really great little greeneries. I think it's um, a eucalyptus leaf, if I'm not mistaken. And I am going to carefully put the glue gun on there and I'm gonna adhere it to, let me see if I can get to show you this. I'm going to adhere it to the orange. I think this will come out really cute. I kind of tested it. This is, this is just what I'm doing. I'm just trying to test to see what the best way, just to make it look nice and pretty. It's a homemade gift. So, you know, you put your care and your love into it, right? And then I dehydrated some cranberries. So I think I'm gonna put the glue on that side. And then I'm gonna put a cranberry. I have more, but I'm just testing with one now. And we're gonna put that in the center of the bottle or of the leaves. And then it'll be filled up. It'll be filled up with the infused garlic and I'll put the label on it. And I think, I think that's cute. What do you think? Let me know. I think I'm just gonna leave it. And then I'll put some tissue paper over it and tie that up and be done with it. So I think I'm going to do this. I, yeah, pretty good. I'm just a mess today, but yeah, isn't that cute? I think it's really sweet. I think it's going to be really pretty once it gets filled. Now, one of the things I think, um, like with the vanilla I did, I think you can do that with like orange um, orange extract to make your own extract or lemon using um, the skins of the orange or the lemon. I have not tried that, so don't don't hold me to that. But I have not tried that yet. So I think what I'm gonna do. I like that. I just can't stop looking at it. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, maybe do up some more, get these uh, situated to load, and then I will show you the finished product. Okay, that was my son, he came home. So we're just gonna use a measuring cup here. Well, that didn't go well. Whoops. Hmm. Life happens, right? No big deal. That seems to go a little... Thank you. Did you see that? I had to lift up on that because that just really... So I don't recommend leaving it just sit because it goes pretty slow. So I just lift it up just a little bit. And I really wanted, I'm glad I did this one first because if I did the other one that I had already decorated to give. All right. What do you think of that? see here yeah I didn't even spill any on the outside isn't that beautiful there's one done but I wanted to do this one because it has the the way it's wrapped here so we're gonna do that one really quick and we're just gonna I don't know how much I don't know how much the um, 50 ounce container will give me bottle wise but I have six bottles to fill up so we're just gonna use it until it's gone Looks like it's taking about almost three cups to fill one of the jars. And I did spill, so I am gonna have to wipe it off. So there we go here. I'm gonna get a wet rag to gonna get a wet rag, wipe off the bottle on the outside because I spilt just a little bit. That's okay. lid and there you have it friends isn't that adorable one homemade gift to give to a friend or a family member that loves olive oil and of course loves garlic but even if they don't it's a beautiful homemade gift a lot of thought went into it I think it's beautiful there you go I hope you enjoyed all right, friends, so it is now well into the evening. I am finished. I'm going to finish wrapping up. I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see how everything turned out. And there you have it. We have some really great garlic olive oil that I infused today. I had made strawberry jam, so I'm giving that as a gift to one of our friends. And then here's our soap that I made. We are done, so I'm going to wrap this up. And we have our cute little cards, little snowman cards that we're going to use. And we're done. So thanks for spending part of your day with me. I appreciate it. Do me a favor and like and subscribe and share with your friends. And we'll see you in the next time. Have a great day, everybody. Be blessed. Good night. Bye-bye.